Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we're gonna learn how to create multi-view type recycler view. So there can be cases that you want to display a different kind of data or different kind of view in a particular row of the recycler view. So at that time we need to use multi-view type recycler view. So let's have a look at the app that we're gonna build in this video. Okay, so as you can see we have a list of movies over here. So I have created this scenario in order to explain multi-view type recycler view in a beta way so the scenario is let's assume that we get this data item uh, from as a response from api or we get this data from firebase db or any other db so the case is uh, when poster and description is null we get logo and when logo is null we get poster and description that is the scenario that i have created so when a poster and description is missing let's as assume this first view so I'm going to show you that. So if the poster and description is missing, we are only left with the title and it will not look good. Uh, just the title in the card and, and we also have the logo which is not utilized. So in that case, when poster and description is missing, we can utilize the logo uh, image. So for that, we will create another view which will have logo on the left side and the title in the middle. So this will look better than only the title and we also uh, we are also utilizing this logo. So that can be case when you get uh, some missing data in response. You can utilize the data that you have to create better UI. So, so that's the case but there can be different cases as well. You can get multiple responses from multiple APIs and then you want to merge those data and display it in one recycler view. At that time you can also use a multi view type. And I would, uh, I would suggest you to use sealed class and put all the data classes inside that. So it will be easier later in the recycler view adapter. So there can be different cases as well. You can have a list of objects uh, and inside that you can have multiple list of objects as well. So that will be multi, uh, multiple recycler views inside multi view type recycler view. And that's the next video. Do subscribe for that. So yeah, a lot of talking. Now let's move on to the coding part. Okay, so I have created this project and as you can see, we don't have anything here in the activity main. So first of all, we'll add one recycler view here. So recycler view, I'll keep its width and height as 0 dp. I'll provide it an ID. So ID, this will be recycler view. I'll constraint its corners to the parent. Cool. Then we'll move to the build.gradle app level and we'll we'll make our view binding true. So build features view binding equals to true and we'll click on sync of the project. Okay. Okay, so now I'll close this. I'll collapse the project view. And then inside the main view, main activity, what we'll do first of all, we'll create one late init var for binding, and that will be equals to activity main binding. We will initialize the binding over here. So binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator layout inflator cool then inside the set content view all right binding dot root not the recycler view root cool and we'll set some properties to a recycler view as well so binding dot recycler view set has fixed size we'll make it true then binding dot recycler view layout manager we'll use linear layout manager here so linear layout manager I'll pass the context as this and we'll come back here first of all we'll create one model class which will be data item as you have seen in the introduction so data item this will be data class not just a normal class so this will be data class and and you also know the parameters so well first will be the title and this is not nullable at all then we have the desk and this is nullable so 
I'll make it nullable. Then we have the poster. And this will be end because we will be using our data images from the drawables. And then there will be logo. Up type int. And this will be also nullable. Okay. So in order to keep this tutorial simple, I'm using a single data class and drawable images. Okay, but yeah, uh, as I already told, you can have multiple data classes and you can uh, keep them in the sealed class and then you can use them in recycler view adapter to identify which item you want to show. So yeah. So let me just close this data item and i'll create new adapter class so i'll name it as main adapter cool and in this we'll pass private val m list up type list data item okay i made one typo here so i'll just refract it this should be data item not date item cool and this class will inherit from recycle view dot adapter and in this will pass recycle view dot view holder i'll press alt ctrl l to format the code and i'll also press alt enter to implement this three methods cool Okay, so before uh, we can just implement this gate item count as it is simple. So return m list dot size. Okay, so before implementing the adapter, let me walk you through the layouts that I have already prepared. So these are the simple layouts. You'll also get the source code in the description box. Okay, cool. So in the item with poster, you can see uh, we have an image view then uh, we have one title and the description and in the item without poster we just have the logo here as an image view and then the title so this is simple i guess you can implement it so now we'll move to the main adapter and we need two view holder classes for our two views one is the item uh, with poster and another is the item without poster so for that i'll create two inner classes so in a class let's just name it as an item with poster and this will take uh, binding as a parameter so let's just make it as a val and item with poster binding and this will inherit from recycler view, view holder and here we'll pass binding dot root okay cool and here we'll create one function which will be fun bind and this will take one parameter which will be data item up type data item and in here we'll just set the data so binding dot post iv set image resource and here we'll pass data item dot poster as it is nullable we need to wrap it with the let then we have binding not bind binding dot title movie title tv dot text equals to data item dot title then we also have need to set the description as well so movie desk tv text equals to data item dot description as you can see okay so then we'll create another inner class for our item without poster layout so in a class we'll name it as item without poster or uh, we can make it we can follow the naming convention like this let me just write it here as well item with poster holder view holder and item without poster view holder cool and this will also take parameter binding so binding item without poster binding then similarly this will inherit it from recycle view dot view holder 
and we need to pass binding dot root here as well similarly we'll create one function which is bind this will take parameter as a data item the item this can this can conflict so let's just name it as a bind poster view and bind without poster view cool so in here what we need to set uh let's just open this here we just have the logo and the title cool so here i'll just call binding dot movie title tv dot text this will be equals to data item dot title and then data item dot logo as it is the label so we'll use lit and then binding dot logo iv set image resources data item dot logo cool so that's done for this yeah we can make it private for sure okay so that's done for two inner classes so the important function that we need to override here which is get item view type uh, which is the brain behind multi view type recycler view so for that we'll just write get item view type cool so whatever we return from this get item view type that will be collected in the on create view holder and based on the data that we passed from this get item view type this view type will create a view so yeah first of all uh, let me just create two constants over here so const val I'll name it as item with poster and i'll give it value of zero then const val sorry const val item without poster i'll give it one you can give any value to this they are just constants the way we want to display our data that logic will be in this get item view type function so i'll just delete this and our logic is if the m list at position poster value is equals to null or let's say it's not equals to null then we want to return item with poster else we want to return item return item without poster cool so that's the simple logic if the poster value is not equals to null display the item with poster view else display the item without poster view cool so in the on create view holder the way we get the data from the get item view type that will be collected in this view type and we'll play the logic in the on create view holder here to inflate the layout so here we'll just have a check if this view type is equals to item with poster and similarly we'll have the else condition here as well so in here what i will create i'll create one binding that will be equals to item with poster binding dot inflate layout inflator from parent dot context will plus the parent as a second parameter then false and from here we can return the item with poster holder and we can pass this binding there cool so i'll just not this we just need to pass this binding okay sorry this is the width cool then i'll copy this i'll paste it over here and this will be item without poster binding and this will be item without poster view holder cool so this will work and that's the logic to inflate the layout 
so you can have different logics as well it's totally uh, depends on your requirement if you want to display some item or uh, differently at even position then you can play that even number odd number logic here as well or you can have different logic as well it's totally depends on your requirement and whatever the logic is that will be played here and with the, and with the return value the layout will be inflated over here in the on create view holder so now the data setting part that we do it in the on bind view holder the get item view type and will pass the position if the value that that is being returned from this get item view type that if it is equals to the constants that we created item with poster and similarly else condition so here we'll just call the bind function bind poster view function from this item with poster view holder so for that what we need to write we need to cast this uh, holder so holder as item with post view holder dot bind poster view and we just need to pass the data item which will get from m list of position and in here we just need to cast similarly we need to cast the item without poster view holder and we need to call bind without poster view where we need to pass m list of position cool so i guess everything is done now the remaining part is we need to pass data in the constructor of this m main adapter so i i, I guess you understand the logic behind this so now in the main activity what we need to do i'll i'll create one list over here so private let in it where i'll name it as a m list here as well it will be of type array list of data item and we'll initialize it over here so m list equals to array list cool then i'll call one function which will be prepare data and i'll create that function over here so private fun prepare data and in here i'll just write i'll add the data so m list dot add data item so the title which will be captain cool that will be the title and then the description i'll paste it from the internet then the poster so r dot travel dot captain cool and then the logo value which will be null because we have the null check over there so so i have copied this uh, description from the internet so now i'll pause the video and add rest of the data okay so i have added some data here as you can see when we have poster and desk as a null value then we have the logo and when we have the description when we have the poster then the logo is null as you can see that's that was our scenario so yeah okay so the last thing that we need to do after calling the prepare data our data has been added to our m list we can just uh, initialize our adapter so well adapter this will be equals to main adapter and i'll pass m list there and then binding dot recycle view dot adapter adapter cool so we can run the app i'll click on this run button and i'll open the visor so as you can see our app has been installed and yeah it is working cool so the logic behind this is totally depends on your requirement and and based on this return value you will inflate the layout in the on create view holder and in on bind view holder you will just call the get item view type you will get the view type and then you will check it with the constants that you will use and based on that you will just set the data to the views okay so that was it for this video if you like the tutorial do subscribe and yeah thank you for watching